Good day, Mom, sir. So, in this video, I'll be discussing my code about the Module 1 Lesson 2 Analysis. So, TCP sockets, a communication link created via TCP or IP sockets is a connection-oriented link. So, how to create a server? So, first one is create a server socket object. The server socket constructor requires a port number 1024-65535 for non-reserved ones as an argument. So, I'll be showing the example code here. So, the server will await a connection from a client on port 1234. So, the second is put the server into a waiting state. The server waits indefinitely for a client to connect. It does this by calling methods accept of class server socket, which returns a socket object when a connection is made. So I'll be showing the sample code here. So set up input and output streams. Methods get input stream and get out get output stream of class socket are used to get references to streams associated with the socket returned in step 2. So these streams will be used for communication with the client that has just made connection. For a non-GUI application, we can wrap a scanner object around the input stream object returned by method getInputStream in order to obtain string-oriented input. So I'll be showing the sample code here again. So similarly, we can wrap a print writer object around the out output stream object returned by method get output stream, supplying the print writer constructor with the second argument of true will cause the output buffer to be flashed for every call of print ln, which is usually desirable. So I'll be showing the sample code here. So the next is send and receive data having set up our scanner and print writer objects sending the receiving data is very straightforward we simply used method next line for receiving data and method print ln for sending data just as with, just as what what might do for console i dash o so i'll be showing the sample code here the last one is close the connection after completion of dialog. This is achieved by a method close, close of class socket. So here I will be showing. So, so setting up the client, establish a connection to the server. We create a socket object supplying its constructor with the following two arguments. The first one is the server's IP address of type inet address the appropriate port number of, for the service the port number of server and client programs must be the same of course so we shall place client and server on the same host which will allow us to retrieve the ip address by calling static method get local host of class inet address and i'll be showing the code sample code here so the next one is set up and receive data. There are set up in exactly the same way as the service streams were set up. By calling methods get input stream and get output stream of the socket object that was created created in step two. Third one is send and receive data. The scanner at the client and will receive messages sent by the printer print writer object at the sent at the server end while the print writer object at the client end will send messages that are received by the scanner object at the server and using methods next line and print ln respectively so the last one is close the connection so this is exactly the same as for the server process using method of class socket. And that will be all for my module 1 lesson 2 analysis. Thank you!